Today we are looking at diabetes and your vision. Diabetes can damage your eyes over time and cause vision loss and even blindness. The eye diseases that affect people with diabetes include diabetic retinopathy. Macular edema usually develops along with diabetic retinopathy, cataracts, and glaucoma. Diabetes can cause damage to the tiny blood vessels in your eyes. This increases your chances of developing serious eye conditions like glaucoma when fluid pressure builds up in your eye, cataracts, the clouding of the lens of your eyes, diabetic retinopathy, when blood vessels in the back of your eye, that's the retina, becomes damaged. One of the things that causes this is poorly controlled blood sugar. And presently, more than 100,000 people per year develop diabetic retinopathy. What is diabetic retinopathy? It is a common eye disease and is the leading cause of blindness in working age adults. Diabetic retinopathy is caused when high blood sugar damages blood vessels in the retina, a light sensitive layer of cells in the back of the eye. Damaged blood vessels can swell and leak causing blurry visions or stopping blood flow. Sometimes new blood vessels grow, but they aren't normal and can cause further vision problems. Diabetic retinopathy usually affects both eyes. What are the risk factors for developing diabetic retinopathy? Anyone with type 1, type 2, or gestational diabetes can develop diabetic retinopathy. The longer you have diabetes, the more likely you are to develop it. These factors also increases your risk when your blood sugar is perpetually high, you have high blood pressure, and your cholesterol level are way, is way too high. When you are a, sm a smoker and you are from some of these ethnic groups, such as the African Americans, Hispanics or Latinos, the Indian and Alaska natives, they are at a higher risk of developing diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy has two major stages. The early stage, which is the non-proliferative stage. Blood vessels in the walls of the retina weaken and bulge, forming tiny pouches. These pouches can leak blood and other fluids, which can cause a part of the retina called macula to swell, which leads to what is called macular edema and distort your vision. Macular edema is the most common cause of blindness in people with diabetic retinopathy. About half of the people with diabetic retinopathy would develop macular edema in the course of managing the disease. Then the advanced stage, which is the proliferative stage, it is at this stage that the retina begins to grow new blood cells. These new blood vessels are fragile and often bleed into the vitreous, the clear gel between the lens and the retina with minor bleeding you may see a few dark spots that float in your vision if there is a lot of bleeding your vision may be completely blocked what are the symptoms of diabetic retinopathy you have blurry visions floaters in your vision trouble seeing colors dark or empty areas in your vision and vision loss diabetic retinopathy is a common complication of diabetics High blood sugar damages the blood vessels in the retina, where scaring can cause permanent vision loss. Diabetic retinopathy is one of the most preventable causes of vision loss and blindness. Early detection and treatment can prevent or delay blindness due to diabetic retinopathy in 90% of people with diabetics. But 50% or more don't get their eyes examined. With diabetics are also at a higher risk for other eye diseases, including glaucoma and cataracts. What do you need to go do? Go for eye exams at least once a year within target range. Keep your blood pressure and cholesterol within the target range. Quit smoking. Embrace healthy lifestyle habits such as getting active on daily basis and getting a diabetics meal plan which will allow you to eat the fruits or the foods that will help you to manage your diabetics.
If you like our videos, kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get our videos as they drop.